got 74 Weld here in El Cajon, California. What the hell? Dude, we're doing it right now. <laughs> it's so sketchy. Well, in this episode of the TT Bug, we're gonna update you guys with a whole bunch of front end information. We're cycling the front end. We got a ton of parts that I'm gonna show you when I get back to the shop. However, right now, we're at 74 Weld here in El Cajon, California. I got my man Noah. What up? And his colleague. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron, what's up? And we have one of the sketchiest metal setups I think I've ever seen, bro. Uh, it's getting there. <laughs> so, 74 Weld is uh, known for making some really high-end parts. Um, they do aerospace, fucking massive shit, and uh, a bunch of other crazy stuff. They do super basic stuff, and they do super intricate stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to show you guys inside this machine shop over here, but we'll just go peek our head through it. Whoa! What? What up? These guys are getting down over here. Look at all these machines up in here. Top secret shit. Can't show you all that, sorry. But if you need it made, I'm sure they'll make it for you. Um, another cool thing that 74 Weld is known for is their portal hubs. Um, the portal uprights, I should say, that also have a gear reduction and allow a lot of the Ultra 4 IFS stuff to, to move at crazy speeds with um, different gear selections and all that good stuff. What do you think of those portals? Portals are rad, dude. Where are they? Do you have a set you can show me? Come over here. Let's show some peeps some of that badass shit. Yeah. Let's show them. These are gnarly. What's the what's the cost on a set of these? That's a quick question right there. Holy shit. The what? Those look a lot. Uh like 14 14 to 15 grand, depending on options, break options. There's lots of different per corner. Yeah. We're gonna make them cheaper, but that's later. Hey, but have you broke one yet? No, but that's all trophy truck stuff. It's built for like big horsepower. Yep. So do you want to give me the little uh, rundown 30 seconds? Yeah, give me a minute. All right, he's with a client. I got you, I got you. He's a busy man, but check these out. Look at this billet shit, dude. So there's one of the uprights. There's a different one with a different, um, different setup up top. You can see this one has a misalignment spacer that's machined into it. And this one accepts um, a uniball or a heim with a bolt that goes through it um, horizontally versus vertically. Um, and then right here, you can see that there is a, the, the gear is driven through here, which spins these two gears, or the shaft, I should say. And then it spins the hub, which is down low on uh whatever some shit like this i don't know the whole science behind it this shit is like the the next next level of uh off-road for all-wheel drive stuff i believe jordan pellegrino the homie has this setup on his um on his car but aside from that what we're doing today is milling out the center of the snouts. Um, so, our spindles, our little baby spindles, now that you look at these spindles, uh, basically from Camberg, these are the Camberg snouts. These are the Camberg snout blocks, the hub blocks. Um, these are their bigger ones with the machine pockets. They have a couple different options. These are our two five snouts. Um, these are pretty badass with all locking hardware where it goes in those keys. That way your wheel doesn't fall off. And they are, a, there is a left and right. So you can see this one right here with the locking 
um, retention ring so your wheel don't fall off. Um, these are mic'd out at about what size? What was it like? Seventy thou oversize? Uh, it was like seventy five. Roughly seventy five thou oversize. So when we put all this heat to this spindle, this thing distorted about five to ten thou on uh, on going uh, one way or the other. So right now we're gonna we're gonna surface the top. We're gonna he's measuring the top right now one to see how how level we are then we'll use these toes to level out level out how's she looking that's what justin did yeah. you think we should put a put a toe here i think we might end up doing one i'm gonna try to get flat as possible i mean even if we put like a light duty one here yeah just, just for some extra yeah extra grip yeah just because if we fuck this up we got problems <laughs> yeah not do Kevin's going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like, I'll laugh at first, but then I'm going to be pissed too. Uh, <laughs> but this is pretty sweet. Um, these guys again at 74 well coming through for me. Uh, my kook ass always has something going on that, that uh, I need assistance with. So we're going to let this, we're going to get this set up. We're going to machine this. That way our snouts have a very light press in fit uh, probably only gonna do a thou or a half a thou just because again there's nothing behind here to feed it out so we don't want to hit the snout on the front side and uh, potentially wallow that thing out or make it a pain in the ass to work with um, you can see we put brass brass inserts for all of our cartech um, cups these are the big boys um, that we get from Cartech. These are $90 a piece. Yeah, that's right. $90 per one of these. These are like 65, 70 bucks, but these will help keep this true and round when we put a lot of heat on them. And then we also do our wrap up over the top on the cups here. So I'm gonna let him get this set up and then uh, we'll show you some action. And as soon as we start to slice into this thing and we're gonna see if shit's gonna go flying. I got my heat wave safety glasses on because safety never takes a vacation. These are ANSI Z87 approved. Same with their sun sunglasses so you can look cool on the job site. But uh, I got an idea. Try idea. What if we put a bolt through here and then we clamp to the bolt? Come on, I was thinking put a shank or Come on. something, pin. Come on. Another clamp? Yeah, dude, hey, just use like a You screw. got one right over here. We'll use a screwdriver, dude. That could work. <laughs> All right, we'll show you guys the next phase of this uh, sketchiness. Did you just say you didn't want to film the first one? Yeah. Should I be scared? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> how many, how many fucking circles, how many cuts are we doing? Eight, eight passes. Eight? Yeah. Eight of these? Yes. Eight of these. How deep? A uh, total of 500 dial. So like, whatever that is, divided by eight. We gotta take depth. 500 or seven? 500. 500 dial depth. We have to uh, take 750. We're doing. We're doing the. We're doing the diameter all in one. All in one. Well, I'm gonna take. Steps what happens if you go. fucked up and you didn't get it straight and centered? Well, you see, I got like a bunch of tool comp on it right now. And we'll run the tool and open it up bigger and bigger until it fits. Ah. So I'm telling the tool is way bigger than it actually is, so it's going to cut a smaller hole right now. Okay. If it's not going to fit this first one, then we're going to rerun it and adjust the tool as we go so we know we get a perfect fit. How do you how do you figure out where the center of this is and the center of all that shit is? A little red arm right there. Then sweep it in, sweep center of the bore, run a circle until you indicate it right, and then your zeros on your machine, program to center of board. What, okay, what's your confidence level in him right now? He seems pretty confident. I'm, I'm pretty it. confident. Well, he just asked me, hey, I don't think we should film this first one. It's always <laughs> scary. So you know what I'm fucking doing? I'm filming the first one. In case if you fuck this brand new, beautiful, not perfect, but it'd be even more imperfect spindle up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, don't let me distract you. Let's right. just run this bitch. 
Let's see uh, if I sh should run. I'm gonna take a step back. Take a step back. Maybe <laughs> some WD or something. You want some lube? That's that's fitting. You said you needed some lube and she yeah, just, we need some lube. She just the ran. Arrow work good. Usually it's the other way around. I think she just went to go get you lube. Usually it's the other way around, bro. Don't you need some lube? We're gonna air it. What? We're gonna use air, blast the chip out. Oh god. Hey, you got any lube? Yeah! Dude. Alright, we're trying again. Did you fuck up? Offset. need to help him. You know what you're doing with this thing? He's, he's got it. I'm popping it. <laughs> well. He's doing a little test. A little he needs a little bit of time. Here. He needs a little bit of time. I'll come back to this in a, in a couple minutes here with a either hallelujah or a that's that's not good. I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm sorry, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. We'll just hey, dude. If it's too big, we'll just tig weld that bitch on there and call it a day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Just paint it with like a little punch. No, put a little radius back in it. Oh, all right. I was just saying, weld the whole damn thing on. Yeah. I mean, you just have to make it upright every time, but it's cool. Now we'll cut it off. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're not turning into hacks that easy. <laughs> nah, we got this shit. We're gonna run it in a minute. Let's check. Oh, are you running it now? I'm just gonna run it above, make sure it's doing what I want it to do, kind of proof it out before we go and start cutting it. Okay. What's that? Your little thumb throttle right there, dude. Yeah, it's your go, no go. Go, no go? Yeah, for much. Ah. You have to hold that thing down the whole time? No, you First click step. it goes, click on and off. So it's just kind of like. Look at that, dude. It looks perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna take off a lot. Yeah, that's why I'm watching this. A little free run right here? Yeah. This is what you call an off road doing your homework. Are you doing your homework? Right now, yes. It's so we don't want it to go wrong right now. Yeah, yeah. that would suck. How deep are you going to go your first cut? Oh, shit. Yeah, so see, I have oh, my rapid set way high, so it's going to do that over and over. Until it gets to the, the furthest depth that we need. Yes. Three, five foul above that bottom face, just so we know we don't hit it. All right, let's see it, bro. All right, I like it. So what we're gonna do is bring that back up, adjust it so it actually cuts this time. Okay, so we're going live next. We're going live. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of fucking buttons you gotta push, eh? All kinds of You already set your tool depth too and everything? Yep. Tool's all touched off. Dude. I just gotta adjust my rapid here. I went to one inch above zero, so I wouldn't just come straight into metal. Bump it down to like three quarter, I'll put a couple extra passes in it, make sure we aren't taking too heavy of a cut with our sweet fixture ring at the moment. Sweet baby fixture ring. This shit is sketchy. But I, you know, it is what it is. Have you ever seen such beautiful fixture ring right here? <laughs> I'm catching your drift right now. You're not fooling me. But you know what? Safety never takes a vacation. 
However, when you have confidence, sometimes you gotta override that that theory. <laughs> Dude, we gotta give the people what they want. We gotta cut this shit. We're, we're doing it right now. But we don't wanna fuck it up because then we're gonna really give them what they want. The, the first one's the scariest. Isn't it funny how like a lot of people always like bank on people's failures when it should be the other way around? Just, you know, get stoked and people succeed. Yeah. It's the way the fucked up world works sometimes. And people that aren't cool. Oh God. It's supposed to be cutting right now? Uh, no, I just did a rapid point. So the way you program this one, it's gonna come down to where you set it to rapid to, and then from the rest, gonna interpolate at a feed rate. Okay. So it probably one or two more circles is gonna start coming in and cut material. I just don't want to wrap it right to that top surface in case the measurement's a little weird. You got a high spot. I want to crash that end mill into it. See it just drop down. Ah, I saw the drop down. Dude, we're about to go live, dude. So this is definitely not going to be to the right size. It's going to be way smaller right now. Because I got positive 15 thou comp on it, so it's going to be 30 thou smaller than we need it to be, just okay. to make sure everything's happy and legit. Cameron, cut to some Jeopardy music right now. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> some <Yeah>. shit like that. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's about to go live, dude. Oh, God, we're about to either get some vibrations, some shit flying out. You got your button? Yeah, always. Dude, don't get too close. What if that thing comes out and whacks you right in the tooth? That would suck. Yeah, you get... Is there, can you feel any vibration in it? Maybe a little There's bit. Just a little bit, not too bad. Happy with that? You're happy? I mean, you do this shit on the regular. Is that yeah. sketchy? Uh. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Just drop another step. Oh yeah, that finish looks great up in there. No oh, big deal, dude. Hey, that's better than I would have done with a barrel sander, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just barrel that girl out. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's always, uh, always handling business. And you know what? With how busy of a man Quinn is. Um, Trust him not to fuck it up. That's a mistake. What do you mean? You, you put your best guy on it, dude. I put a guy on it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, it's no, a it's, it's, no, it's a shit. No, it's a shit. Well, this is exciting. We're gonna, we're gonna have parts that fit properly. This way, You'll get the strap on film. Yeah. What do you think of that, uh, those toes and shit right there holding her down? That's legit. It's totally fine. Yeah. We got two on that side. We got, you know. I think you could have got away with just two. <laughs> oh, he is a risky, he's a risky kind of guy. Yeah, we just got we just got into the first one. Did you comp that tool? Well, what I was saying earlier is that uh, Quinn always answers his phone every time I call him. They make badass sway bars as well with a couple different lengths, um, different splines and all that. I have two sets of the sway bars that we're going to be running on the TT bugs at the house already, the shop. Um, so basically this is, after we do one more drop in that bad girl, we are going to mic it and then see if we need to take a tiny bit more off. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have to run another tool bath around it. Yep. I just wanna measure this, see where it's at, and I can accurately adjust to know. And we're gonna do that with all of them? Uh, maybe not all of them. We'll, we'll see how consistent, the first two probably. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that, dude. 
dude. That's like right there. That's like right there in the corner. Are you going to need to go one more or you think that's dialed? I'm falling not good right there. I mean, I can make it go more if you want to get, get a little closer, but that's two thou above the surface right there. Two thou above the surface. We're talking like thou, like thou right now, which is... Split a hair three times. Yeah. You hear what he said? That's a pretty cool terminology. You take a hair and you split it three times. Now, what if like, what if like not pulling the race card or anything, but what if there's like a redhead and a blonde and then like a dark haired person? Does, uh, that, does that still count? Split a hair three times? Oh no. <laughs> probably not. Cause you, like your beard hair is looking pretty thick, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's probably quite a bit thicker, but. <laughs> now, what part of the body are you getting this hair from? Yeah. All right, so there it is. Always got jokes. All right. Now you're gonna measure this girl? Yeah, all right, check it. Yeah, go for it. Boom, swooped her air, bro. Stuff her in, bro. Oh, yeah. You need some more oh, lube? I got one over here already. You need some more lube? No. Uh, oh, yeah, we're gonna need more. Touching over there. Yep. But you know what's beautiful? Dude, that is so nice and smooth. You like that? Wow, that must be sharp. That's a sharp, that's a sharp tool right there. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want, when we rerun this. Well you can measure you it too, because we had more. that we had half inch, half inch there. Precision. Precision. 352. Uh, 352. How we, now that's now this is the question. Is is it true? Yeah. Whoa, it's very close. It's like two and a half. Yeah, I mean we're we're right there. Measure it this way too. Check it out. Sorry for being so damn needy. I can't really get in there that way. We got a bore gauge we could check it with. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. Yeah. Well, give me like one thou roughly a press fit and let's run this girl, baby. Get her there. Yeah, one thou, half thou, what do you think? We want lighter than more. Huh? We want, we want a lighter press than a heavy press. You think one thou is too we much? We almost want to slip, I think. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go a half a thou. All right. Go a half a thou off your measurements right there. Let's run this final pass. We'll set this spindle in, the snout into the upright, and then I'm gonna have to move on with my day. Yeah. Yeah, and let you just handle this. You don't yeah. need. You don't need my ass here, do you? No. Well, good now. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really do nothing but talk shit. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm asking you. laughs> <laughs> now you know I love you. I love this kid. A little backstory: Noah came in, and the way I met him was when we were both working out of TV Metalworks about what three years ago. You cruised through? Yeah. Two years. Well, when I started, it was probably like four and a half, almost five years when I started there. Five years ago. Where the fuck? Where does time go? But um, he came in. His dad works at the, the cabinet store next door. He's a gearhead. We worked alongside each other for about a year. Yeah, a year or so, two years. About a year. Since I started, so. Yeah, year, two years, I don't know, man. You guys make it up, make it, we make it up as we go sometimes. Pretty much, like, <laughs> time flies. I've known this kid since he was a damn baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but a uh, solid dude, very well-rounded. He worked at a motor shop before this, and a fab shop. Um, he's got a pan buggy, which is a buggy where it's based off of the pan and a stock Volkswagen with just like a hoop behind his head. Got and a bunch of metal out in the middle and call it a day. Yeah, there's no floor pan, there's no nothing. It's just like Torsion super sketchy. <laughs> we'll do an episode with uh, with him and the homies. They were at the old school roundup in Glamis, which was awesome to see. And uh, basically what I was getting at is this kid, uh, he's, he's a smart dude and he, he's very well rounded. And yeah, we're making a final pass. Ready to go again? Run it, dude. 
Final pass. Oh shit, get my hand off parts. Well, so this is a final pass now? Uh, I might take one more. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna blow it out, so we're gonna sneak up on on the first one. You don't say that when there's a lady present. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We are we are almost there. Um, like five and a half. One, two, three, four, five and a half under. Okay. That is a fancy measuring tool you got there, good sir. It's called an intra mic. Intra mic? Yeah. Ah. So it measures three points, so you get a round measure round surface is accurate. Alright, so you're five under. Oh. Yeah, give me five thou, baby. Then we're you said it one of them was slipping her in. Well, under. Most of them are like three inch three seventy three, so I'm just gonna put So take it to three 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 seventy three. Three or three seventy four is what I run it to. Take it nominal and shoot and then see how it goes. Okay. Nominal. Now that is size to size. That would be the size to size. Size to size. We're just learning a whole bunch of new vocabulary today, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. That's, hold on. Oh, no, 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 you're running diameter. Okay. Yeah. You're fine. Final cut. Oh, please. Let's see. You know, I mean, this is definitely, like I was telling him earlier, I would have probably just taken a barrel sander to it <laughs> or machine the snout of this. But the problem with that is all of these are identical, all four of these. All four of those have similar differences. So by getting all four of these the same and all four of these the same, if ever I got to buy another one of these, they'll fit. I don't got snowflakes. Yeah. What's this snowflake reference? I didn't get that. Snowflake, one of a kind. Oh, no more snowflakes, yeah. Yeah. Hey, there you go. You learned another term today, y'all. <laughs> snowflakes. If someone calls you a snowflake, that means you're either one of a kind or you're sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, I've seen that in an adult. I've seen something like that in an adult star before. <laughs> Was it really a, a 3.2 to 3.6? <laughs> got some girth to it. Yeah. <laughs> Stout one. Seven, four. Calling that money right there. I'm calling that big, dude. No. <laughs> so she wow. said. Wow. Oh. Whoa, Jimmy. Oh, it's that stupid freaking. Well, you trust it? Yeah. 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 I think it's I think no. it's titties. That'll go. Yeah, it's just resting on the clamp. Alright. That'll so go. Pull it. Worst oh. case. Ooh. -hoo. Worst Barrel case. Barrel sanded. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> warm this up. Cool that down. Yeah. Freezer. You don't even need to freeze that. Just warming this up, it would expand enough to where you could yeah. see it in. A little yeah. butane torch. Uh-huh. Just in a nice circle. You know, you could have taken the one that we could have tested to slip it in first. I could. <laughs> Try it. No, that thing's going in, dude. But it'll probably rock. That no, thing's. Yeah, dude, the whole thing's. She's she's it's, ready. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It doesn't matter. If you need to recut, you just sweep it back in. Yeah. Dude. Well, at least uh, our sketchy blocks. Did you did you see the double up over here? Did you see the double up? And no, that's not sketchy. That's perfectly legit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. NASA shit. Yeah, no, that's fine. There's yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, this spindle is gonna see some see some air Way miles. Way sketchier shit than that. Way sketchier shit. Yeah. This is probably gonna be one of the more precision parts on the car now. Ooh. Well, give me the one that's 373. Ooh. I think we just got. 
I think we just gotta deburr it. But that's good. I want that fucker tight. We, you know, would you rather have it tight or loose? <laughs> tight. Yeah, just grab a burr knife and just <laughs> cut the edge of it. Dude. Ah, uh, dang. That finish is freaking sicky. Okay. Burr knifing. We're gonna have to cut to some more elevator music right now. Some Jeopardy music, whatever. Call it what you call it. We are making moves. As you can see, we are nice and flush. And nice and flush. Uh. <laughs> Dude, are you stoked that we didn't total anything yet? Pretty stoked. Yeah. We got our last one. So what we did was our dial indicator. We're measuring here and here for front to back height on our um, jaws and then side to side machining this front face first and then after that coming through and boring out this id here for the od of our snout and uh whatever this bore is here or this whatever we're taking off the top deck here we're taking also off of the bottom so um it's only had to have been about 10 thou right yeah so far? 10 12 thou somewhere around there i like it and uh they fit nice and tight like Hold on, let me see if I can two. Ah, oh, shit. This was easier with two hands, but yeah, as you can see, they don't spin. Let me see if I can rest this girl right here. Bada boom. Bada bing. Oh god. Yeah, well, it's not resting, so. <laughs> shit, <laughs> not working, dude. Not working, but. You get the point. She's tight. Pick it up. You can barely get a little wiggle out of it. I'm pumped. Well, this was such a long episode. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think uh, I'm gonna show you the TT bug just yet. On the next episode, I'm gonna show you a bunch of transmission parts, such as. Uh, dynamic torque converters, Arizona drive line, uh, or Arizona drive shafts. The big drive shaft showed up. Um, third members, which you saw in the last episode, uh, with Elevin Weller Racing, um, King Shocks, all that good stuff. We got so much going on. It's hard to keep up, but um, thank you guys for tuning in and. Uh, watching the madness we're making sure that we do everything right that way this investment um, doesn't one fail me and two fail all my partners and leave us stranded out in the middle of the desert we're giving it our best and that's what we're here to do and uh, have fun in the meantime and let you guys enjoy the wild ride while we're building our dreams um, if you guys haven't been on the Shreddy Life website recently, check it out. We got a ton of new merch, um, jackets, yo-yos about to drop. We only did 10 custom yo-yos, so those are sick with a merry rate. And uh, sock shirts, beanies, hats, you know the drill. Check it out. Hammocks, my favorite. Run it. Much love for the support. Have a good day. Hope you all learned something. And we'll catch you on the next episode.